Hi everyone, Mike Brown back with you. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. In the last several lessons, we've been talking about the most important technique in Photoshop, making selections. You need to make them flawlessly, you need to make them efficiently. And along the lines of being efficient is how quickly you can make that flawless selection without having to start over and do it again. Alpha channels are a real lifesaver. What they allow you to do is save any selection as a black and white representation that can always be reloaded as the selection. There's also some other things that it can do. Number one, if you have a selection that you use repeatedly, it allows for easy retrieval. Number two, it's a time saver. If you're building up a complicated selection, you can work for a while on the selection and then save it. That partial piece of the selection, go ahead and save it so that if you continue to work and you blow it and somehow you lose the selection, you don't have to go all the way back to the beginning. You just retrieve the partial selection and lose a little bit of time. And then it's a black and white visual that can be corrected. It's used for correction purposes. And then I'm going to talk to you about a feature called calculations, which is sometimes a little bit visually complex. It's a time saver that allows you to create new selections from existing alpha channels. So let's get started here. Here's a shot that I have. We already have a selection. I'm going to trash it. Trash both of them and start all over again. This is a fairly easy one. We're going to take our quick selection tool. We've done this before. Just run it through. And what we have here is a selection that you can see with the quick mask. We're going to go to the select menu. By the way, your channels panel is a panel under the window drop down menu. There it is as channels. To save a selection, go to the Select menu down at the bottom, save your selection. We're going to call it uh, Partial Sky, and we'll click OK. And I'm going to deselect Command or Control D, deselect. We've lost the selection. I realize that we can get it back with Command Z or with History, but let's say we've worked on some other things like done a little bit of retouch. Uh, let's just uh, go here. I'll do a couple of little just blips around. And now you can't get back your selection because it's far back. You could on the history panel unless you've gone 40 or so more. But let's just say you can't get it back any other way. You've always got, come on, the channels open up. This is your channel, the saved selection is right there in black and white. White being the transparent, black being the masked area. All you have to do is Command on a Mac, Control on a PC, click the channel. You don't have to click the thumbnail, just the channel. There it is reloaded. Click RGB or the shortcut, Command or Control 2. And there's your selection back. Now this was the raw selection. So let's make an adjustment on that real quickly. Go to the Refine Edge dialog box. Let's set up our edge detection tool that we dealt with in the last. Whoops. What happened? I went to the wrong view. And we're going to very quickly just run this thing down the edge one time and let it cook. In other words, we're modifying this selection. And there we have it. Done. Click OK. And now we have another selection. We can save this one.